I have this case type as claims. So this claims has uh, create request investigation stages. Now I want to create a work object for this case type using an activity. So let's understand how to do it. So for that I have already written an activity called generate a case. This activity is present inside the game class and uh, I have identified what are the steps required to create a work object or an instance of a case type using an activity. So there are three steps. First one is, uh, these are all three uh, OTB activities which we have to call and using this you can create a uh, case type or a case type instance or work object for a class. So first is create work page. So to create an instance, first we need, what we need to have is a work page where all the processing is, go processing is going to happen and that's why uh, it is required to first create a work page. Vega has already given us call create a work page or OTP activity and for that step page we are going to use the work page. So when we call it, we have to specify the class of which we are going to create a uh, instance and we have to define the PY work, PY work page. Model to use is set default and uh, what are the work parties so that is I have defined as default. So these are the parameters that we have to set for creating a work page so and these are the required parameters by creating for the creation of work so we, if you give the mandatory value those are those will be in. next is once your work page is ready on which the work object is going to run so you can imagine if your work page is like an area where your uh, uh, work going to run or the, or the process or uh, your flow is going to work so first we have created that we have created the space for our instance or the space for our work object then we are adding work object so here you can see and after that the step is the add work okay so when we are adding a work uh, we have we are using the same PY work page but now we don't have to specify the class because classes has been already identified by PY work page so you can give here the cover page as PY work page if you are creating the uh, same uh, if you are not using the parent class, okay, you are using only the same class work object if you are creating. Output class will always be code process output as given by the figure. So once you create a work object, now your second activity by calling an second activity has been already created. But I, you can't open it unless you can save it in reader. So, so you have to save it and commit. So at type you have to use the third activity which is very important call commit with error handling. Unless you come, the data of uh, your instance will not be saved into database. If it is not into saved database, you will not be able to open it back. So it is very important to do this a third step. So once you call this uh, third OTP activity that call commit with error handling, this is going to save and you will be able to open your uh, created work object. So let's run this and see in action. So actions i'm going to run this uh, let me start the tracer once i start this tracer i will click on run it is you can complete successfully uh, i think i was already having a session so that could be the reason that gave me that error but here you can see that it has worked uh, no issues <coughs> now let's go back back to the instances where they are created so for that we have to go to the class of PM. Click, double click it open once you see here this is the case which I have created and uh, I have to edit once I edit here you can see the case has started now this case is as same as the case which you manually made and now we have uh, created this case even using an OTP using an activity. Okay, so uh, I hope this will help you in your project work. Thank you.